someone said to me how awesome it was for me that my first New York show was at the Armory because a lot of artists work their entire careers and then end at the Armory. I could be the most successful artist in the world, and if I were doing a show on the Civil War, this is where I would choose to do it. I think it boils down to Robert E. Lee. He sort of epitomizes the nature of conflict, both internal and external. A lot of these characters had essentially just become names in textbooks or faces on dollar bills. They seemed to have lost their humanity. My mind really races a lot of the time and painting is essentially the only thing that completely clears my mind. I never considered that I could make a living as a painter. You know, it's like wanting to be a poet professionally or something. So I decided I was going to do advertising. At one of my job interviews, the guy interviewing me opened my art portfolio. He just wanted to look at my paintings and then he, he bought one. So I came out to New York to hand deliver him these three paintings he bought. And I asked him what I should do. If you don't button it, then it's and he said, you just keep your head down. Don't deviate from your path. Don't do anything besides paint. And the things that you want will come to your path. What's interesting to me is how many other factors go into someone's purchasing a piece of artwork because it's way, way more than the piece of artwork. It reminded me of like being in an exam or something like that. It was the sort of thing where you almost black out. I was just talking to different people the whole time almost. And I wasn't stressed. I was happy and I was excited, but I think it was a very surreal feeling. I think even though I would have liked to have it be up longer, there's definitely something romantic about how ephemeral the show was. My mom pointed this out to me which I love, is the show is called Moments in the Bellum. It's a series of moments during the Civil War. And in essence, my show was just a single moment. Made it harder to sell all of them, but I think it almost enhanced it. I don't know who made it up, but one of my friends started saying this word FOMO, which means fear of missing out. I get that really bad with painting. So when I was in New York, a lot of the time I was in a terrible mood because I didn't have any of my tools, I didn't have my studio, so I, I essentially put myself in a situation where I, I, couldn't, I couldn't be happy. It's almost too serious. And like I said before, not that I wasn't planning on doing this for the rest of my life. It's like marriage or something. I don't know, it's like, do you love this girl? Yeah. Well, do you want to marry her? I think so. Yeah, but it's totally different when, when it becomes a lifetime commitment. Um, but yeah, I think I love... I think I want to marry Art. I'll tell him. <laughs>